<laughs> now we moved to 70 or 78. 78 pounds. And you're looking at Tyler Warner in the red. Comes in with a 44 and 0 record, seventh grader. He was seventh at 74 pounds last year. And the district champion at Steubenville, and he'll be up against Jacob Martinez, 43 and 1 from Heath, which is near Columbus. He's also a seventh grader. He was the champ at the Thomas Worthington District. Two boys with exceptional records, only one loss between them. Warner, of course, a famous name in the Eurexville, Denison area. We saw Kyle Warner place yet again for claim on at 140 pounds just last week. Darren Warner, who wrestles for Indian Valley, also a placer last, last weekend. It's a name that has been strong in wrestling for a couple decades there in that area. Good shot there by uh, Warner. See if he can finish. Warner's a football player, so he's looking for a double leg tackle here. Very nice. good finish there. And a no. Looking to really try and force a cross face cradle here. Looks, oh, he's almost had it locked. Down to 15 seconds here. Both these boys had some close matches coming into this tournament and into this final round. And, uh, in fact, in particular, Martinez just a 3-2 winner in the quarterfinals. Martinez's choice took both up. Martinez is obviously feeling that he's got to win this on his feet. It looks like Warner is very dominant in the top position and very comfortable there. Forty-four. No, I think he's pretty confident wherever he is. Martinez has placed five times in the grade school championship. Never won one, but this could be his chance. Cash in here as a seventh grader. Heath, a Division Three school, if that's where indeed he intends to go to high school. The only thing I'm noticing is that Warner is looking to hit his, has his setups as he's moving backwards. Might see a uh, stalling call if he continues to do this throughout the match. Of course, the incident you say that he begins to get offensive. 15 seconds here. Another good shot there. Just keeps his toes in and gets two. And beautifully timed. Not much chance for a uh, compensating escape here. We can see here that he, he lulls him to sleep by moving backwards. It's a good blast double. Down. Great mat awareness. Keeps his toes in and really starts to look for the half. But the referees have said he was out as they so often seem to. And the period will end with it still 2-0 in favor of Warner. He'll be going to claim that. What a great wrestling program they have. Very good first move there. Nice. And that was an excellent example of when the first move doesn't happen, go right to your second, second move, move right? even if it's the exact same move th two times in a row. Very active on top. Very physical for a, for a little guy. 
you know, I think you take for granted, oh, we're going to see the junior high kids, and uh, like they're not going to have uh, the technique and the skill. Right. This is high-level wrestling that, that these kids are participating in. And, and Brian, I'd, I think you would attest that winning a junior high state championship might be more difficult than winning the high school state championship. Well, we're just looking at Johnny DeJulius, who is here as a special guest, three-time state champion in high school, plus a runner-up finish. Good luck here he at the never won this. Two in a row, second time works. Yeah, you're right. He's never he never had a junior high championship. Good look at Martinez now. Oh, a good switch here by Martinez. See if he could finish. He's got nothing yet. He's got to hook the bottom leg. You get to hear the mothers more at this tournament. <laughs> He's, 25 he's seconds close here. Close to stacking them up. Running a quarter Nelson. That's the escape. That makes it 4 1. Oh. oh, he tries to get oh, got a little loose. Nothing yet. Oh. Nothing yet. Great scramble. 4 3 now. He's going to, oh, Last it looks second. like very close to a tilt. Too much, not enough time though. Great comeback by Martinez, but the champion is Warner. Tyler Warner, a wrestler from Uruksville, takes the title here at 78 pounds. 